Well, while there's been praise for China's relief effort, the world community is still pushing Burma's generals to organise effective help for victims of Cyclone Nargis. UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon has confirmed he'll fly to Burma this week for urgent talks. The UN's aid chief, John Holmes, is already there. ASEAN foreign ministers meeting in Singapore have been told that the junta wants to host an aid donors conference in Rangoon. But aid workers are warning that time is fast running out for tens of thousands of of malnourished Burmese children and that many may already be dying. Survivors in the cyclone-ravaged town of Labuta in the Irrawaddy Delta have endured a weekend of heavy monsoonal rain. On the ground before the disaster, a British-based medical charity lost 50 local community health workers in the storm. It's tracking in hygiene kits and other supplies from Rangoon, battling to save lives. But, says expert, emergency teams are needed to reach thousands at risk. The monsoon has really hit this town with a vengeance now, and the people here are suffering more than ever. In conditions like these, acute diarrhoea and pneumonia could become major killers in just a few days. Burma's leader, General Tan Shui, making his first public appearance since the cyclone, has visited a camp in Rangoon. It's the latest in a series of such visits by the generals, dismissed by some diplomats as a show. A British envoy is the latest to beg the junta for direct access to the disaster area. We have to negotiate as broad, ambitious an access as possible, but recognise it's going to be less than everything we want. And we're just going to have to see what negotiations in the coming days by the Asian leaders, by the UN Secretary General, uh, achieves. And I think you're going to see... Uh, quite dramatic steps by the Burmese to open up. Aid like this rice from Australia is reaching the capital, but the junta is refusing international offers to distribute it. And while Burmese volunteers hand it out, the militaries close most of the delta to foreigners. The UN estimates that half a million people have received aid, but two million more are at risk. Yet help is just half an hour away. A fleet of US, French and British Navy ships is standing off the coast with helicopters, hovercraft and trucks to land medical teams and deliver emergency supplies. On the outskirts of Bangkok, thousands of Buddhist monks pray for the cyclone victims. Thailand's been providing aid and it's told the ASEAN foreign ministers meeting in Singapore that Bangkok's second airport is available to international donors as a staging point. For the children of the Irrawaddy Delta, help can't come soon enough. Save the Children says 30,000 under the age of five are already acutely malnourished and could die of starvation within three weeks. Ross Cameron, World News Australia.